Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. And, uh, you know, it's really hard trying to talk about this result from Arsenal tonight. Because we have three goals against an Andalette side that we should have comfortably beaten after being 3-0 up after 60 minutes. It's really, really frustrating tonight. Really frustrating. And what worries me most about this result is the mental effect it's going to have on the players going into the games against Swansea and United, most notably. And as, as well as Borussia Dortmund. And I think this game has really put the group beyond doubt. Uh, it doesn't like we're going to qualify, so that's one positive we can take from tonight. But then again, you know, it, I really wanted us to finish first in this group. And to be fair, I think we really surrendered the group when we lost 2-0 in Dortmund a couple of weeks ago. Um, or a couple of months ago, in fact. Time's absolutely flying at the moment. But this result tonight has put the group beyond doubt. It looks like Dortmund will be finishing top uh, if it's not for a massive upset. We play them at home in a few weeks and... I would have loved us to have gone in that game with something at stake, like, you know, being top of the group. But their goal difference is so superior to us, you can't see them dropping a lot of points. And we just don't look at the same level that they did against Galatasaray tonight. But they're them beating them 4-1. And although they're not doing so well in the Bundesliga, they're, they're doing incredibly well in the Champions League. And it's, it, it's just kind of written that they're going to get top spot. And we kind of deserve to get second after what's gone on tonight. And you've got to say that given the way Andalet have played against us in, in uh, our two fixtures against them, they more than deserved a point um, from those two games. You, in fact, you could argue that they wanted more. They have, the fight from them tonight was absolutely superb. Their fans were superb. and they, I thought they put in a really resilient performance. They could have even won the game. I thought even when they were losing 3-0 that they were incredibly resilient. They played well throughout the whole course of the game. And a lot of credit has to go their way. So fair play to Andalet. Had a very good performance. And they're worthy of their point in this one. But looking at Arsenal, lots of frailties today, especially the defence, as I've already mentioned. Monreal was found out, giving away the penalty as well. Really frustrated to see from him after he's had a couple of really, well, not solid, but reassuring performances from him. And it worries me going into that game against Swansea um, because he just... When he's coming up against someone like Bonnie, he couldn't handle the players that they had tonight. And that, we, we've all credit to Monreal. He was superb against Burnley. You know, this could just be a blip, but you've got to say he's a left-back, not a centre-back. He shouldn't be playing in his position. And I think against Swansea, we've got to play Chambers there. We, we just have to. It's just playing Monreal and Mertzacker together just isn't working as a partnership. Um, Chambers and Mertzacker arguably is something that could be built on. Uh, thank God we've got Koscielny coming back after the international break. I also think it's fair that we give Bellerin a chance at some point. But this defence can't be persisted with. It is absolute dross. And Mertzacker is another one who looks absolutely lost when he hasn't got pace beside him. I think he really misses Koscielny. Like I said, it's a yin and yang kind of thing there those two need each other Koscielny I think you know I really hope people understand how underrated he is at the moment because he is he basically is the Arsenal defence he is an absolutely magnificent defender and we look lost about him at the moment I can't wait until we've got Koscielny back in the team anyway regarding the, the performance from our side I thought we started the game fairly well and the as well I thought every time they went forward they were very menacing they were cutting through our defence incredibly easily which was a concern but Chesney made some good saves kept us in the game and we looked comfortable after about 10-15 minutes we really grew into the game and we looked good on the ball we saw Arteta start alongside Aaron Ramsey in the 4-2-3-1 those two starting in the pivot that's something that I've wanted to see um, for, for a while now I thought it worked a good effect I thought Arteta certainly had a good game he looked a lot more level headed than Flamini does and I think that was more noticeable when Arteta came off for Flamini in the latter stages of the game but we got our first goal through a penalty, which was really well won by Danny Welbeck. Running into the box was brought down by the Andalet defender. Lovely, um, cool penalty taken by Mikel Arteta to make it 1-0. And it looked from there on in, we would go on to win this game comfortably. And it looked even more like that when we got a second goal. Excellent work by Alexis Sanchez. The ball going into the wall from a free kick. And then using pure instinct to hit it first time on the volley into the back of the net. I can't tell you how good that goal was to watch live. Just seeing the ball hit the wall, it just absolutely ripple apart, and then to see it fire through the Andalet defenders into the back of that superb instinct goal by Alexi Sanchez to make it 2-0. And we go into half-time, 2-0, the game's looking very comfortable, and you couldn't even picture that we'd conceded this, because we looked so on top of the game. Andalet, I think we'd soaked up their pressure really well, and we looked like the only ones who would go on to score more. And that was proven when we scored a third goal, lovely individual goal by Alex oxlade Chamberlain, who had a superb evening, um, cutting in on the left-hand side, taking it past their defender, leaving him for dead and slotting it into the back of the goal to make it 3-0 and it looked like from then that we could go on to win it 4-5-0 but unfortunately, lacklustre piece of defending from Arsenal, and uh, we conceded in this one, which just, you know, it, it, it looked like a constellation at the time. 
but then we went on to concede a penalty and it got to 3-2 and all of these goals shouldn't have occurred. Monreal was at fault for the penalty, bringing the guy down. Um, the first goal as well, our defence just absolutely went to pieces. I thought Callum Chambers was kind of ripped apart, but then again, I thought he had another fairly solid performance. I thought Mertzacker was kind of the guilty one there. He is getting beaten for pace a lot of the time at the moment. And again, that brings me back to my point that he needs someone with pace like Lauren Koscielny alongside him. Unfortunately, Monreal can't really provide that. Um, but again, that's not down to him. He's not a centre-back. He is a left-back. Uh, and then, proceeding the third goal, just, it's just so depressing, so absolutely crushing. And the way it was allowed to happen, ball just floated in, into the back of the net. Great header by, I think it was, um, I can't, can't quite remember the guy's name, Mitrovic, I think, I think that's what it was. But a really good header. I know it was by the number 45 anyway. But to make it free all, absolutely superb fight back from Anderlet to get a point out of this game. Got to say, they deserve it, but like I said, it worries me, the mental effect that this is going to have going into some big, big games we got. We've got to win against Swansea now. We've got to win against uh, United, in my opinion. I think it's really crucial that we make a statement and beat United in that game. But it's um, it's it's, a, it's really poor from us tonight. You wouldn't have expected that. Not from this Arsenal team. And looking at some of the players that came on, I mean, Rosicki was very woeful when he came on, as was Podolski. Flamini just looks absolutely reckless. I think it's fair to say that he is past his sell by day at the moment. He just looked woeful. Um, but I think that it's hard to say. Are there any positive we can take from tonight? Chamberlain was superb. It was great to see him getting getting on the scoreboard. Sanchez was his usual self, magnificent, but he faded off a little bit in the second half. Arteta, I thought he had a good game. I thought he was probably one of our best players, which really says a lot about the Arsenal team tonight. But um, apart from that, I can't really think of any. It does look like we're going to be qualifying, which is certainly one of the biggest positive we can take from this. But it is frustrating knowing that it's going to be very difficult for us to get top spot, which realistically we're not really going to be getting in this group. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, those have been my thoughts on Arsenal's free, free draw of Anderlecht. Just reading that back to myself, just I can't believe that after being 3 0 up, you wouldn't, you would have thought it from an Arsenal team about four or five years ago when we had the likes of Sebastian Scolacci, Johan De Giro in the team. But not being able to beat Anderlet at home when we got a 3-0 lead, just it concerns me quite a bit. But anyway, guys, uh, those have been my thoughts on Arsenal's game against Anderlet this evening. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like, rate, and subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Check out my channel, AFC Game by Game. And as always, thank you for watching, guys.